first page to read. Now, while she gets to the first page, I need everyone to put your listening ears on. I hope you brought them. Here we go. Turn one more page for me. That's just a lot of legal mumbo jumbo right there. <laughs> These are penguins with their warm, thick coats of black and white feathers. Those are good looking birds, aren't they? You know, it's nearly impossible to take a bad picture of a penguin. I mean, look at me. Every side is a good side. <laughs> the camera loves me. Next page. The mother penguin lays two big eggs. Both the mother and the father take turns keeping the chicks safe and warm. Now on that page they talk about laying the eggs and on that page they talk about taking care of the babies. But the book skips over a very interesting part of the story which is how do we keep the egg warm so the egg will hatch? Um, what do we have to do? Um, they, they have to they have to keep the eggs between their feet. That's right. We kind of set the egg on top of our feet so the egg will not touch the cold, icy ground. And that helps keep the bottom of the egg warm. But to keep the rest of the egg warm, we use our big belly and a little pouch underneath. And this is what we do. Oh, you guys should pretend that there's an egg on my feet. You got it? All right, here we go. <laughs> I know it's not pretty, but it does work. We kind of scooch down over the top of the egg and we cover the egg up with our tummy. Pretty smart, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Next page. Well, you knew my belly had to be good for something. I wouldn't walk around with this all the time for no reason. It's exhausting. <laughs> all right. The mother penguin searches for food for her chicks, swimming and leaping through the icy water. Now, would you guys want to take a swim in that water? No. I don't think so, no. But of course, I love it. If I had to describe that water using just one word, I would have to call it invigorating. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys know what the word invigorating means? Yeah. Hey, Carly, do you know what the word invigorating means? Invigorating means that that water would put pep in your step, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure she needs any pep in her step. You're doing good so far. Let's come over here in the middle so everyone can see the book really good. There you go, now turn the page. The mother penguin keeps her eye on the shore. Then finally the feast begins. Now I have to admit, that's my favorite page of the whole book because it talks about eating. <laughs> Do you guys know what penguins like to eat? Fish. 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 And lots of it. Mm, mm, mm. Believe it or not, I haven't had lunch yet, Carly. Do you know if there's a Captain D's around here? That's good because I'm pretty hungry right now and I might have a coupon. <laughs> Next page, please. The young penguins grow up together, surrounded and protected by their parents. Now look at all of those penguins in that group. That's a lot of birds, huh? Now, there are two special words that you could use to describe a group of penguins. You could call that a colony of penguins, or you could call it a rookery of penguins.